Hi, I'm Jo. I'm at the University of Liverpool Small Animal Teaching Hospital. I'm here today for a closer look at the Waltham Puppy Growth Charts. For dogs, healthy growth is critical for a long, active and healthy life. But assessing healthy growth in puppies can be challenging. How can you tell if a puppy is growing too quickly or too slowly? Backed by high quality science, Waltham is launching a new series of puppy growth charts based on data collected from tens of thousands of healthy puppies. The charts are easy to use and available free of charge to your practice team. The Waltham puppy growth charts provide a regular opportunity to engage and educate puppy owners about healthy growth, building client loyalty for the rest of their pet's life and beyond. owners are keen to learn as much as they can about their pet's health and well-being, but can become confused about how much weight their puppy should gain between visits. The Waltham Puppy Growth Charts enable you and your client to track the pup's weight on a simple and engaging chart and monitor the pattern and rate of growth. It's a scientifically credible way to reassure your client that they're on the right track, or guide and advise them if growth is starting to deviate from normal. Abnormal growth patterns can be spotted early and timely action taken to investigate and intervene. It's also a great way to encourage puppy owners to visit the practice for regular weigh-ins, especially during the period between the last puppy vaccination and neutering when visits may dwindle or even stop. The chart plots weights against age in weeks. To calculate the puppy's age, use the Waltham age wheel. Place both red points of the wheels together. Move both wheels to select the puppy's date of birth. Turn only the blue wheel clockwise to show today's date. The puppy's age will be displayed in the window above. When weighing the puppy, remove any items such as a collar, lead or harness. Ensure the puppy has all four feet on the scales and note the weight in kilograms. There are 10 charts available to choose from based on the puppy's predicted adult weight and whether they are male or female. Choose the chart on which the puppy's current weight sits on or between the 9th and 91st centile lines. After plotting three serial measurements, each one month apart, you should be able to tell if you have chosen the correct chart or not. If the incorrect chart has been chosen, simply transfer the previous measurements to the correct chart. Find the age of the puppy along the bottom of the chart. Remember, it's measured in weeks. Find the puppy's weight along the side and mark with a small dot. You'll see that the point sits either on a centile line or between two centile lines. There is no right or wrong centile line. The lines reflect the variety of normal growth patterns for puppies in that predicted adult weight range. It's recommended to weigh the puppy monthly until six months of age and at least every three months from then on. After several visits, there will be a number of points plotted on the chart. In this example, the puppy's growth is progressing just below the 75th centile line. It's not the centile line that's important, but whether the puppy continues to track along the same line or between the same two centile lines throughout the growth period. A puppy with this growth pattern is likely to be growing healthily, although this should be assessed along with other factors such as general health, appetite and energy levels. Here, you can see some growth rates which are not following a normal pattern. In particular, if the puppy's growth curve crosses two centile lines in an upward or downward direction, this could indicate a problem and requires further discussion and investigation. If you suspect a growth problem, consider weighing the puppy again in two to four weeks to determine if the trend continues. Some puppies can have a temporary disturbance to their growth, which may resolve spontaneously. However, if the abnormal growth pattern continues, further investigation is recommended. If the pattern suggests slow or poor growth, review the quantity and type of food being given and ensure the puppy is not being over-exercised. 
If there is no obvious nutritional cause, ensure the puppy has been treated for endoparasites and consider advising your client on further tests to investigate the puppy's health status, such as haematology and blood biochemistry, urinalysis and diagnostic imaging. If the growth pattern is too rapid, it's important to give clear and practical feeding advice to ensure the puppy receives appropriate quantities of a nutritionally complete and balanced diet for the growth life stage, such as a puppy or junior diet, without additional nutritional supplements or human food snacks. Now you've seen how to use the Waltham Puppy Growth Charts, but it's important to remember that a growth chart alone cannot conclude whether a puppy is growing at a healthy rate. All growth charts need to be assessed by a veterinary professional and should be part of a comprehensive clinical assessment of the puppy before any attempt is made to alter the pattern of growth. This makes Wolf and Puppy Growth Charts the perfect tool for you to partner with your clients to provide every puppy with the opportunity for healthy growth.